ng mga sisters, ano ba sila? Scary ba sila? Nakakatakot ba sila? Are they like my, like, my clinical instructors in college na parang, alam mo yun yung parang intimidating. Hi guys, this is Jack again at your service. And I hope that you are all doing well in this trying time. I hope that you keep your joy and fix your eyes unto the Lord. So guys, nung nasa Saudi pa ako and still preparing for the uh, RCSI aptitude test, especially yung, yung object, objective structured clinical exam, yung OSCE. Kasi yun talaga ang pinagtuunan ko ng pansin. Kasi as I've heard from others na nauna na sa amin dito, uh, from colleagues na nag-take na nito, is that to really focus on OSCE. So doon pa lang sa Saudi, was really like, you know, kung ano bang, ano, ano bang style ng mga assessors, ano ba sila? Scary ba sila? Nakakatakot ba sila? Oh, no! Are they like my, like, my clinical instructors in college na parang, alam mo yun, parang intimidating, nakakatakot, ano ba, nambabagsak ba sila? So, many, many things came into my mind, really. So, I had that fear that, you know, like, just like when I had it during my related learning experience way back in college na sa tuwing my, ano, my ret them, my return them, why na ako, sinisina talaga ako pag may ret them, as in, <laughs> relate ba kayo? Surprisingly, guys, I was amazed na, ano, napaka-soft-spoken, soft-spoken yung mga, ano, yung mga assessors, and they really smile. And, hindi sila, they are not, they are not, they are not intimidating at all. As in, wala akong mafe-feel, wala akong na-feel na intimidation. Napaka-bait nila. And I really felt like, they really want me to pass. I just don't know with the others. Kasi sinasabi nila, nambabagsak nga daw. But then with me, I felt, they really want me to pass. Kasi, marami din akong na-miss out na points. But then, you know like, they're very generous enough to prompt me to, an uh, ano, like, you mean like giving me gestures to keep on moving on to cover the topics and really giving me some hints. You will meet soon Miss MN, the director of RCSI. I cannot mention her name kasi baka maano ako. So, patay ako. Uh, so, she had stressed out to us, um, you know, like uh, the points, like you know, the, the attitude that we should have in order to uh, be, be successful in the uh, in the OSCE especially. So, she had really um, put an importance of um, you know, like, minding your own business. And maririnig nyo yan mula mismo sa mga bibig niya when you're already here and you're taking the OSCE. So, so, uh, she said, uh, mind your own business, focus, and do not stick with your, with your, uh, with what you had practiced during your review with OSCE. Ano yung mind your own business na, sinasa na sinasabi ni Madam MN? So, ibig sabihin nun, guys, kasi uh, during sa OSCE, guys, yung partition ng mga stations, yung ibang partition nun ay curtain lang pagitan ninyo sa ibang applicant. And you would really hear uh, your other, the other applicants like, especially because they're already nervous. I think lahat naman tayo talagang in, uh, you know, like, in maybe anxiety or panic type that when we're in that stage talagang malakas na ang boses natin, something like that. So, nagkakarinigan talaga kayo. So, kung hindi ka magpo-focus sa mismong sarili mong um, uh, station at uh, easily distracted ka, na kung mawawala ka talaga sa train of thoughts mo at saka sa sequencing mo sa ano bullet points. So, uh, guys, uh, the OS you cannot also tell the OSCE that the you know that the environment is noisy and you can't uh, you know like you can't focus because uh, I think no one did that in the past. So minding our own business 
only means focus on what you are currently or uh, what is the assessors asking you to do so focus guys so ito yung isa sa pinaka importante sa lahat guys kasi um, prior ng OSCE ay uh, magkakaroon ng they will conduct a uh, what you call this a uh, practice on uh, the skill station such as the wound dressing and I think also the IV therapy if I'm not mistaking but uh, what I remember is the wound dressing yun palang alone is ano na yun, malaking bagay na yun na uh, favor galing sa kanila kumbaga uh, sa, gi sa ginaw ginagaw ginagawa nila ano, alam mo na kung anong mangyayari sa ibang station so may idea ka na so just uh, focus as they give all these uh, instructions and practical demos. So, ano naman yung sinasabi ni MN na uh, do not stick with what you have practiced in OSCE. Ibig sabihin nun, guys, ay yung rote learning. And namanggit ko ito sa pinaka-recent na vlog ko. So, uh, our review sessions, guys, for the OSCE, OSCE are, uh, you know, like, uh, very helpful for us to make it the first attempt. I cannot stress enough like, uh, do not uh, like keep things on your own or like think na kaya mo na na i-handle on your own tong uh, OSCE na to you need some in some inputs sa mga nauna sa inyo at saka sa mga tao na nagki-care na mag-share ng kanilang mga insights about the exams so it's not about like you know like um matatalino na ang mga nagsi-share ah uh, Maybe, just like me, I, I share, yeah, I share. But I'm not saying that I'm an expert or something. So, it's just that, it's just my care na sana, sana, wala akong, wala akong marinig na, alam mo yung mga kababayan ko na, hirap na hirap na nga makaparating dito, tapos na pauwi ka pa, ano na lang yun. Diba? Ang saklap naman nun. So, so yun yung, pan, yun yung pinaka- I iwasan natin guys na ang possibility talaga na mapauwi ng ating employer pag hindi natin na ipasa pa rin on the second attempt. So guys, um, uh, as what I have mentioned, uh, kung ganitong naturoan ka sa OSCE during review, na ganitong paghandle ng station, yet sa real OSCE na, sa real scenario na is uh, na-focus ka ba, na-fix ka na dun sa na-practice mo. So, uh, 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 I'd advise you not to, you know, like, to avoid that and to really uh, listen to the assessor as they give you prompts, as they give you hints, just like, you know, what else, the word what else, are you sure? Something like that, guys. So, and gestures also can mean something from the assessor. So, you know, like, read the signs. Read the alarming notes from them. You redeem yourself. If you had a mistake, you can uh, either say na, ah, I'm sorry, assessor, I should have done this and uh, not that. Stress enough to not get fixed during your OSCE. At huwag natin sisihin yung mga nag-review sa atin. Kasi... Guys, uh, nagmamalasakit lang sila sa atin and we cannot, uh, you know, like, we cannot, uh, we cannot do that, guys. It's, it's really mean to do that. Do not get irritated kung repetitive ang question ng assessor. It only means na may gusto pa siyang kuhanin sa'yo. Mayroon pa siyang gustong squeeze sa'yo na hindi mo pa naibibigay sa kanya. So, pag paulit-ulit tayo na tinanong, ibig sabihin nun, it's either may kulang pa sa uh, sinagot natin or mali ang sinagot natin. Another thing is, uh, we should be observant. So, kung ano yung mga nakalagay na mga materials, equipments, documents sa stations, they are there for a reason. Kung may box of tissue doon, it's there for a reason. So, lahat ng nandun, guys, ay buklatin mo, tingnan mo, kasi 
maaring sa descriptor sheet ay hindi nakalagay lahat ng kagawin mo at yung iba yung iba maaring nasa cardex maaring nasa news chart so uh, bulatlatin mo ang anong forms back to back kasi baka may mamisize ka keep an eye to eye contact so when we are handling the stations where we discuss the forms such as the sepsis or the water law uh, so do not dig down guys yung parang tipong nagbabasa ka na or kahit medyo na, na mataas ang anxiety mo pero keep an eye to eye contact sa assessor uh, for me it's like you know you're giving them the, the impression that you are confident with what you say please be pleasant so our intelligence has to be in the right place after all guys we are the applicant so sabihin man natin na matalino ka pero lagay mo sa lugar guys kasi baka masense niya na sumusobra ka na eh ang dami, ang dami ko nga kilalang matatalino na pa guys so this exam does not measure kung gaano ka katalino but like you know like your compassion sa pasyente kung ano ang therapeutic techniques na ginagamit mo and actually this is for new RGNs na one year lang experience sa mga locals na dito yun lang naman ang hinihingi nila sa atin na maging kapantay natin ang knowledge and skills ng newly registered nurse nila dito na uh, RGN na may one year experience pa lang so guys hindi natin kailangan maging genius para pumasa sa OSCE. Natin lang is to know the basics, to be compassionate enough, know your therapeutic communication. And guys, another thing, wear your smile. It gives the assessors an impression that you come prepared for the exam. And do not forget the three magic words. Sorry, please, and Thank you. So, importante itong tatlong magic words, guys. Kahit sino na mag-review sa inyo sa OSCE, stress out talaga nila tong tatlong magic words na to. And guys, on the day of your OSCE, it's best for you to wear your scrub suit or uniform para mas mukha kang nurse. And put on some uh, light makeup for the girls. And itaas mo ang buhok mo. Para naman nurse na nurse kang tingnan, di ba? For me, it's like boosting also your confidence. And guys, niwala ka man sa Diyos o hindi, I'm telling you, prayer moves mountain. Pray specifically for your assessors na sana mabigyan kayo ng assessors na considerate and would give you time to redeem yourself pag may mali ka or may nakalimutan. Yan lang po yun. Uh, I hope that uh, this short vlog would help you na maiwasan natin na mag second attempt pa tayo sa RCSI kasi masyado na yung stressful So, let's make it a goal na papasa tayong lahat sa first attempt lang para iwas dagdag stress. Alright, stress ka na, stress out pang employer mo, hindi maganda. Parang hindi magandang simula. So, but if in case na talagang hindi, mo ma ma hindi ka makamik on the first attempt, hindi ka maging successful, well, it's not yet the end of the world. Huh? Ang second attempt, ang importante may chance pa. But, kung kaya naman natin iwasan, yun yung iwasan na natin. Guys, diba? um, uh, please, uh, I hope na may makuha kayo sa ano na to, vlog na to, that will help you to be successful on the first attempt of the Oscar. I hope that uh, you will consider to uh, like and subscribe and hit the notification bell para updated ka sa next vlog ko. God bless, guys!